Greetings, Matt and RC with you, and today I'll be taking you through my most recent haul of Blu-ray Steelbooks. We go across the pond to England again, and the last hurrah for HMV and Play.com. As you may have heard, HMV and Play.com have both gone into receivership. Uh, HMV is no longer in business. We'll see as of the recording of, of this program what ends up happening with them. Play.com is going to a marketplace, so they are no longer uh, selling first-run material. So. We'll be getting a lot of stuff, hopefully, from Amazon uh, UK, but for now, this is the last hurrah for HMV and Play.com, which is where I got almost uh, all these items, and I'll take you through them right now. We'll start off with Total Recall. This was actually the, the last uh, movie I got from HMV. It got it within about three or four days of it going down, and in fact, uh, one of my, uh, the original one of these got lost in the mail. And then uh, not only did, did the replacement show up before they closed, but the original showed up as well. So I was I was very happy about that. Let me show you really quick how this compares to the American release. There was a steelbook of the same kind from Walmart that was offered, so I didn't bring that one in today. But you can see a little slightly different packaging there, coloring is different, and obviously the... The front is very different, looks more like the uh, the DVD there. So, kind of cool, like having the different cuts. Uh, as you well know, I do not open my, my steel books. I try to find versions I can watch and then uh, keep these locked up because they are they just look good um, in their packaging, so I don't, I don't bother opening them. So, there's Total Recall for you. Next one is The Untouchables. This was part of the Play.com uh, Centauri Edition. Nice job on the spine. And these are still books as, as you can see, so kind of cool. I was really sad to see Play uh, go down because I thought that they had done such a nice job, uh, like Top Gun. Did such an excellent job. Uh, embossed right there. Cruises flat on there. I thought they did a great job. So hopefully, I think it's Scanavo, if I'm mispronouncing that. Scanavo. If I'm mispronouncing it, I apologize. Uh, but I do hope that they, they do partner with Amazon UK to go ahead and uh, bring their titles already. I'll show you with uh, Skyfall. Nice packaging I got. Now this is the American uh, 3D Top Gun, so I've already opened up this one. And you can see very different back. So totally different there. But I think that's what's cool about these cases. You know, you get alternate covers and alternate cases. Makes it much more fun to collect. The Great Black Hawk Down, again, part of Play.com. Great little spine there, too. And not, not too much on that one. War of the Worlds, one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies. I'm just looking at it right now and I'm realizing, man, I got a lot of Tom Cruise in this collection this time. War of the Worlds is embossed. That's very cool. I didn't realize I had so much Tom Cruise in here. I really like Tom Cruise. He was great in Jack Reacher. I don't know if any of you saw that or not, but I really enjoyed him in that. Good looking spine there too. Among my favorites of his are the Mission Impossible series. The MI is embossed. Again, this is from Play.com. Mission Impossible 4 is my favorite, but I love MI2. It's one of my little guilty pleasures I love to put on and watch all the slow-mo. I think it's very cool. So glad they put these out on Steelbook. And I think the you know the one that gets a little bit underrated is the first one, which is really deep sort of spy action. And then I'll just show you what I'm going to do with this one. At Best Buy they were offering the Trilogy 
uh, for after I'd had some coupons about 10 bucks so I'll be combining these with uh, the steel books won't be opening the steel books and no I did not pay $29.99 for that I think I paid like nine dollars ten bucks so that's kind of a neat setup so I'll, I'll open up the trilogy the US trilogy and uh, and keep the uh, the UK ones undone I know kinda of weird about that goes back to my days of collecting Star Wars figures and opening them up and playing with them and then realizing years later that I should have just kept them unopened and new in box and would have been very rich Shutter Island I think one of the great unknown Leo DiCaprio movies really enjoy this one Mark Ruffalo's in this one I have yet to buy this on Blu-ray, I'm ashamed to say, but uh, I will go ahead and pick one up and, and leave that one. And then confirmation that there is still goodness in the world, uh, the great Skyfall. Uh, this was the, the failed HMV, um, way it went under just before this was released, and Amazon ended up picking it up. And luckily, I was able to get a copy of one very very happy with this one it doesn't have the um, the embossed cover but uh, and if you can tell or not but Bond um, looks almost 3D in this image with the Aston Martin in front there I mean compare that to you know the new American Skyfall and there's there's really no comparison I mean I, I like the US cover but the UK one is simply better so unfortunately we have uh, goodbye to HMV and play hopefully Amazon can can pick up the pace and uh, work with Scanavo um, again I'm sorry if I had that mispronounced uh, to get these steel books out I think in in some ways it's a good move because Amazon does definitely take care of it's uh, it's steel books when you get them in the uh, in the uh, store uh, in the mail. Uh, all of mine, the, the Skyfall one, came came wrapped and uh, was really well taken care of for the long haul to the U.S. So I know for sure that they're going to do very very well uh, if Scanava and they can can negotiate something. If you're on Twitter, you can check me out at the address listed below. I've also written reviews for Skyfall and, and a number of new releases through sandwichjohnfilms.com. Certainly hope you have a chance to take a look at those reviews. Uh, we're in screenings all the time, getting you uh, good stuff before it comes out. This is Matt Narcy. Peace!